got good fans for the fans. Bye. 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 Very good evening to you. Welcome. Happy Easter. Happy Easter to everybody. Hope you didn't uh, have too many or eat too many Easter eggs uh, over the Easter holiday. Um, I've still got a few to eat myself. But yeah, I hope you all had a nice Easter. Uh, the Sky Blues certainly did. Got another three points on Friday. Looking to get another three points on Monday against Cardiff. So uh, so yeah, welcome to Sky Blue Fans TV. Got a few guests lined up. We haven't got a Cardiff fan, unfortunately. We did have, uh, I believe he can't make it, but... Um, Unfortunately, but uh, we've got plenty of other guests and plenty of things to talk about. So uh, let's bring our uh, guests in. Claudio, good evening. Good evening. Uh, you still got some Easter eggs left. Oh, yeah, look at these beauties. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're nice big ones, they are. Yeah. It's all about the eggs, isn't it? It's all about the eggs, apparently. It, it is like all Chris, about. A bit like Christmas, all about the presents. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about the eggs. I like, I like the Maltesers. Mm. Yeah, very nice. Did you have a nice Easter? Have a nice Easter? Uh, yeah, yeah. We went up and fetched uh, Jess from uh, Bolton this morning. Yeah. So she's here. My daughter's come up from Andover. Sophia, she's here. I'm obviously right. seeing Luca tomorrow because we've got the game. Yeah. So, that's uh, good. yeah, we just had a chill time. Yeah, that's so, good. So, you've had. Good. Um... You've had you've had your the ten eggs, have you? That your last two. Yeah, I started. I started <laughs> on Thursday. <laughs> uh, now let's find out if Vicky's got any uh, Easter eggs um, <laughs> left. I didn't get any. I've got no oh, Easter eggs. Oh. I'm really sad now. <laughs> you didn't get any. Oh no. no. I'm not that bothered. I'm not a massive chocolate person, to be honest. Oh, aren't you? Oh, right. no. I love my chocolate. I love my chocolate. <laughs> you can imagine. But uh, yeah. Um, did you have a nice Easter? No, you, I've seen you Friday. Lovely, yeah. Great to see you on Friday and Paul yeah. and that and uh, good result. Yeah, so all good. Hopefully we can uh, keep it up tomorrow and get yeah, another three points all going well. Now, we haven't got a Cardiff fan tonight, but we have got some Welsh fans supporting Coventry City. Um, Stephen Tom, live from... Uh, from Wales. Where about is in Wales again? Is it Newport? Round by Newport? Newport yeah. yeah. Yeah, Cumbran. Yeah, yeah just yeah. close to Newport. You're in the Welsh boy, that's fine, yes. So <laughs> you're uh, fully qualified to talk about, uh, I'm sure you know quite a few Cardiff fans, don't you? Oh, uh, yeah, we know a few. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to talk Cardiff. We're going to talk, um, obviously, uh, a, bit, a bit about Huddersfield on, on Friday, uh, where we've got three points. We've got guest the gate as well, so you can get your, get your guesses in, please. Guest the gate for Cardiff Monday. Uh, not far off a full hour, so I'm hearing. Not many tickets left, so uh, get your guesses in. Uh, you can win your site for Scarborough Fans TV more. Um, and then we'll be talking a little bit about um, about Man United. I watched the Man United Brentford game the other uh, yesterday. Was it yesterday? Brentford Man United, and they look very, very average. Um, I mean, what do you think? What do you think, Claudia? Did you watch that game? Oh, yeah, um, I didn't have to. I didn't have to watch it to know they're average. Oh, but, yeah. um... <laughs> Defensively, they're not particularly brilliant. No, they're all over the shop. You know, and I, I think uh, it only takes one little bit of magic we could upset them. Yeah, definitely. I mean, yeah. I'm quite surprised how poor they were. I mean, Brentford hadn't won for a long, long time. They were on a bad run. Um, and I didn't tell you, should have had, he could have had that trick. He, he was, he had two clear headers, uh, set pieces that they, they weren't picking people up in the box. So there were three headers. And I thought, bloody hell, if they're playing like that against us, we'll have, you know, we'll, we'll have some good chances. You know, what did you think, Steve, about Man? United? Did you watch that Man United game? I, I didn't watch it, but when I saw they scored, what was it, the ninety sixth minute? Yeah, I thought, oh, I thought that was so Man typical. United. <laughs> yeah, I thought yeah. typical, but then they let a goal in two minutes later. So yeah. I did watch it, and I, I agree with you. I think they're very beatable. Yeah, definitely. I didn't see anything to scare me at all. No. That performance, absolutely not. They might have that on paper, they've got a good team, yeah. But as we all know, the, the games are played on grass, not, not on paper. And if you well, actually, you know, Ken, I saw the Man City game, <laughs> nothing, nothing to fear there either. When we get to the final, 
nothing happened. No, and, I, and I saw a Chelsea match. That, it's all <laughs> yeah. overhyped. It's all overhyped. Absolutely. And I'm sure, Vicky, you, you agree with that as well, don't you? Did you see that Man United game? Yeah, uh, well, I saw the last 10 minutes, um, yeah. and then I watched the uh, highlights on Match of the Day. Um, yeah. And yeah, totally. I was watching thinking, we, we all get chances in this game, and we just need to take yeah. them. And then, Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, they, they were just bang average, as far as I could see. Yeah. Uh, anyway, let's talk about the Super Sky Blues Friday, <laughs> Easter Friday spectacular, where we went up there. Uh, uh, had a pleasure meeting me and Vicky in the pub, along with Paul. Um, Paul Hughes and his mum. It was a fantastic day. Um, we got the three points, didn't we? Uh, we'll start with you, Vic, because you were there. And um, what did you think of the team selection? So, there was no changes, was there? Yeah, I'm not surprised. I think that probably mm. now he's going to be as consistent as he can till the end of the season. Um, because it's all about momentum now, isn't it? We need points, um, mm. and results. And yeah. um, so I, I would be surprised if he does much tinkering, save for like injuries and niggles between now and the end of the season. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I was, I wasn't surprised to be honest. That he did make a change because he's. I had a funny feeling he might stick with the same yeah. team that beat Wolves. Um, but then I thought maybe as the game went on, he might have brought Hadji off because he's been playing obviously international football. Hadji stayed on right to the end, which is a good job because he scored that <laughs> scored that goal at the end, didn't he? <laughs> But um, yeah, I mean, you know, at the end of the day, we uh, we 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 did the job. And that's that, that's the main thing. Um, Claudia, what was your thoughts? Because you were watching at home live on your TV. Uh, yeah, sure. She's not meant to say that. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> or you might have been abroad. I don't know where you. Yeah, I was abroad. Holiday home. Holiday home. You know what? It wasn't. It was a good result obviously it was a good win at times it wasn't as comfortable as i'd liked it to have been um because they did have they hit the, the woodwork a couple of times but at two nil we were cruising and we scored two really good goals i mean mm. that is first goal was an absolute belter and yeah. the move the move for the second goal was superb Casey Palmer, I think I posted somewhere. It was like Seedorf and Edgar Davies rolled into one for like <laughs> five minutes. He was so powerful, so strong moving forward. Um, if we can get him to last ninety minutes, uh, it's it's a, a re- it's been really good for us. And yeah. I mean, the Huddersfield fan was fearful of him, wasn't he? Yeah, he, he was. Said, yeah. When he was talking about him, saying how good he's been playing, they were worried about him. Um, and up until Collins made that little mistake. Um, yeah. he'd, he'd done well. He'd played well, Bradingall. Mm. I I, yeah. I was pleased because we kept the same team, which is what we wanted, didn't we? You know, that, yeah. that, that starting eleven, you had to keep them. Um, the O'Hare situation's weird now, isn't it? Now because he's obviously mm. he's on the bench for now. So, and I'm happy with yeah. that because the team's playing well. Mm. And tomorrow, I, if we can, same eleven again. Yeah, yeah. My only concern is obviously injuries and stuff like that. Or overplaying players with the risk of injuries, but you got to do what you got to do, haven't you? At the end of the day, we need the points. We need three points, so in theory, we've got to play our strongest team, haven't we? Yeah, you know, do that. Um, good evening, Tom. Good evening, Steve. How are you? All right. Okay. All good. All good. Uh, what was your yeah. thoughts on the game on but, Friday? To, to be honest, I was a bit surprised by the team selection. Not because that's not the team on paper would have picked, but just because of the internationals. And, you know, the flights that they had, I, th- I thought he'd start O'Hare rather yeah. than Palmer. I'm glad he didn't. But, you know, I would have done that because I thought Palmer might be tired, but he was excellent. I thought he might start Gordon instead of Wright for the yeah. same reason, Wright had played a few games. And and Latty as well. I wondered if Binks would start. Um, mm. But they all look fresh. Uh, first half, I thought we were excellent. Second half, we just went to sleep and so did the game until we gifted them a goal. Um but yeah, so th- they did look fresh, but I, I did think I would have dropped some of the players that pl- done internationals. Um, yeah, I think to be fair though, other than um, Latte, none of them really played ninety minutes. So they sim- um, right, sorry, um, he came on as a sub, didn't he, in the first game? Yeah. He subbed off in the second, and I think Palmer was the same. So mm. Latte was the only one really that had played ninety minutes international football. Mm. Um, yeah, I think the O'Hare situation's um, interesting. I think we're 
I mean, from my point of view, I think it looks like we're, we're learning to live without him. But um, Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. I mean, yeah. In, unless we go up, I mean, it might all change if we do go up. Yeah, yeah, if we go up, it completely changes the situation, doesn't it? But, uh, so, you know, we're in a bit of a catch-22 situation, aren't we? You know, um, do we play and do we don't? But, I mean, at the end of the day, so I think he's got to play his strongest team. But when Palmer's, if Palmer's not fully fit or whatever, it's nice to have someone like O'Hare to come on and mm. and do the same job, isn't it, really? Because they're very similar. It's a great place to have on the bench. And, you know, you've got that calibre of player on your bench, you're doing all right. Well, <laughs> well, you know, cause I don't think that was a problem last year. I don't think we had the, the strength and depth, if you like, did we? Mm. Players coming off the bench. And I think that's, in the end, that, 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 you know, that cost us in the end. But, you know, and then uh, we, I think we've got a stronger squad this year. Yeah, um, so. a lot stronger. Um, so be very interesting to see how far how far we get. Um, what was your views on Ellis Sims and Steve and Tom? Because uh, because did you rate them at the start, Ellis Sims? He wasn't a believer. He wasn't. <laughs> no, I, I just saw his touch. He just couldn't seem to control the ball. Yeah, and I thought we, yeah, you know, I know it's a slow burn, and Hodge, you could see there's a player in there. There was pace. There was ability. Yeah. I didn't see it with Sims. And then of late, when we started having him on his own up front, he was yeah. a presence. And I could see that he offered something because of his strength and, and height. Mm. But that's as much as I'd admit. But the first half against Huddersfield, he scored two outstanding goals. Mm. That they were excellent. That was a player that... That's, that first goal was brilliant. What really. finish. Yeah. Um, so I'm like, eat my words. It, it's been a really slow burn, but that um, was excellent. First I, I, I have been a believer since about Christmas time. Mm. Um, before that, I don't think he offered a lot. Mm. But um, since Christmas, I think you could see there was something there. It just wasn't quite clicking for some reason. Same with Sims before, uh, sorry, right before. Um, yeah. You could see there was something there, but it wasn't quite, for, for one reason or another, it wasn't working. I, th I think Sims' personality doesn't help him. He's quite... Close and he's quite reserved. He's very, very subdued, isn't he? Even when yeah, he's he is. He is. He's not one that runs around with his hands in the air and no, you know, and slides. He's very subdued when he scores. Um, I, I don't might be just part of the way he is. Some players are like that. Um, but it, but he certainly, uh, for me, is improving every game I see him. He, yeah, he's getting better. Well, I saw uh, something earlier today that um, I think Jokeres and Hamer scored thirty-three goals combined last season. And yeah. Sims are right around 32 now. Mm. So we, we've, you know, replaced the goals, to be fair. Um, they're yeah. both coming good now. They are both. Yeah. Uh, Claudio, Ellis Sims, I know you're a big fan. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> this is comments made. 30th of September, these comments were made. Okay. Ellis Sims, Sky Blue Korea started better than Jokerez. That was, that was me. Right. But these... Uh, He's a more natural goal scorer than Vic. If he develops under Aidy and Robbins, think he has potential to be even better. There is going to be some backtracking done on here. Um, he's still learning to make the right decisions and he's still building his confidence. He's clearly a more natural finisher than Vic. I give you Victoria Oaks, our very <laughs> own. Wow. Forget all these pundits. Vicky is the girl. <laughs> She told you that is six months, 26 weeks ago, six months ago, Vicky was saying this. Um, yeah. So I'm saying nothing. Vicky, it's all, <laughs> tell us about Ellis Sims. <laughs> you were just reading that. I was thinking, that sounds like something I said. And then it, it <laughs> 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 yeah. I mean, For you, Vic, has he improved? Is he getting better every game? Yes. It's just, I think I was just ahead of other people. I could see, for me, hmm. there was always a player there. And I always thought that. We would we would see a better player by the time that Adrian Robbins had finished with him, um, but so yeah, so I've been a supporter from day one. But you definitely can see the work that they've done on him already, and um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean that that first goal was fantastic. Oh, well, well, in that corner, like I could see it curling in. I thought, oh, that's gonna yeah. go in top corner, brilliant. But you see, in September, he'd have just ran with that ball and not had the shot. It mm. probably yeah. fell over the ball. Yeah. All yeah. of a sudden, he's hitting the ball, isn't he? He's, right. he's having a go, which is what we want. I mean, he's, he's our player. Who doesn't want a, a our player, well. player in a sky blue shirt yeah. playing yeah. well? That's what we want, don't we? And it, it, I think it, it was a mix it. of things for me. I, I saw a couple. Like, I saw different things when we were at home games, especially because of where I sit, get quite a good view. 
And I just saw certain bits and I thought, if he can like recreate that time and again, he'll become a player. And I, I and I suppose it's that alongside the faith I have in our coaching team to bring the best out of players. So I could see bits of a player there and putting that alongside what we know like AD and Matt can do. I just thought this is going to go in the right direction. So I just, I just had the faith from day one. I just always think it's a bit of a shame that we give new players such a hard time sometimes to like, mm-hmm. rather just like, um, welcome them and give them a chance to settle. So a lot of fans out there are very fickle, aren't they, at times? They, they prejudge people and you should never prejudge people too early. You've always got to give them a chance. And he's only a young lad as well, you know. So uh, and we, had the, we had the disappointment of the playoff failure, yeah. basically, and the start of the season wasn't great and we lost two really good players. So yeah. a lot of the fan base were on a downer, weren't we? Yeah. So yeah. Who do we pick on the new boys? Yeah. yeah. That was a problem, wasn't it? I think you just got that spot on, Claudio. I think that's probably it, isn't it? That unfortunately Sims was a victim of probably other factors that then he he was a player that, that somebody could um use um to sort of get out their frustrations. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think the problem was people were expecting him to come in and be a, a you know, exact like for like Jokeres replacement. He was never going to be that. He's a different uh, player. Yeah. yeah. Shall I get comments up, Ken? I've got. Yeah, so there's a few comments coming in. So let's have right. a. Bear, bear with a, me. A <laughs> All right, I'm going to read the comments <laughs> out, and there's some of them we'll probably uh, talk about because there's some good points here. First yeah. of all, uh, Paul Hughes. Even all brilliant win on Friday. Love to see Victoria and Ken. How old is Paul Hughes's mum? Because Paul <laughs> Hughes's mum looks younger than Paul. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm not. You know, I, don't, I don't want to be. I'm not. I don't want to be your dad, Paul. <laughs> I'm just asking. Dave Granigan, Even all hope everything is well. What a result Friday. Hopefully, much much the same. Um, Assassins Unite. High all with a great. Chairman and manager, we can't fail to succeed. Some lots of happy Easter's. We've got happy Easter from Gar 87, yeah. Alison Berry, uh, Assassins Unite, Graham Cockrell, Evening All. Um, yeah. hope you're all okay. well. Um, also, right, we go to Rob Nichols, Evening All. I'm just enjoying a nice cup of tea out of my brand new Sky Blue <laughs> Fans TV, oh, show, yeah, which I won that. with Spot the Ball a week or so ago. Thanks, guys. Keep up the good work. I'm glad you received it undamaged. Yeah, because we've had a couple arrive damaged. Well, it. Couple, Obviously, yeah. Leicester <laughs> fans uh, delivering. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah, they missed the target, didn't they? They couldn't get it in the letterbox. <laughs> Paul, I oh, so love it if they failed to go. That, get that idiot on. That, that <laughs> smug, oh, I could say something. It was on here. They were so smug, wasn't they? So he smug. Was, yeah. Well, that's the one yeah, horse they're, race. They're about, yeah, <laughs> they're 20 points ahead. We're going to go what we're, yeah, whatever. Well, right. Uh, hi to our world supporters. I live, live up near Wrexham. Yes. Paul's lives on the, his back garden, he was telling me. Uh, he's on the Welsh borders. So, um, yeah. Is it, Ch- is it Chester got half? Yeah, Chester, yeah sort of. Yeah, yeah. Well, that way. But he's, but the Chester FC, the I think, have got their half the, yeah, in Wales, Wales, yeah. 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 The, the yeah, car parks had uh, different COVID rules to the some of the bits of the stadium because <laughs> yeah. one was in Wales and one was in England. Yeah, Wayne Littlewood. Things Even Wayne. Be, things must be good because Wayne's been really positive uh, <laughs> recently. Uh, Wayne Littlewood. <laughs> Even though if we play like we did against Wolves, we have a chance against Man United. I believe we have. Hundred yeah. percent. The way I see yeah. it, yeah. be well up for it. It's, uh, it's Glenn from Sky Blue Hub. Only Sheffield United concede more shots per game than Man United. Can't control a game. They turn over possession so easily and look weak at the back. Brentford bullied them. I, I think we've got a chance. I think we Absolutely. really have a chance. Um, do you reckon we can get the manager sacked as well? Do you reckon oh. do you reckon if well, we beat that'll be him? Go on. Imagine if we yes, beat imagine if we beat him. <laughs> My worry is if we do beat them. Then people will start knocking on the door for our manager. It wouldn't surprise me at all. Yeah. yeah. Assassins United, Man United conceded more shots than any other team in the Premier League. Um, Dave Granigan, Man U wasn't good at all, but knowing our luck, they will be fantastic. We won't yeah. let them be. Um, here's one then uh, from Sky Blue Fans Forum. Of course, who, they, uh, they always give us a big shout out and let's post on their uh, page. Yeah. Uh, from Craig Robinson, happy Easter to all. Excellent result. <laughs> as cheesy as me, you are, Craig. <laughs> it was a very good Friday 
especially for Ellis. Let's hope for ex excellent <laughs> tomorrow. Excuse the yolks. Oh, dear. <laughs> he's had plenty of Easter eggs. Yeah. He's, had, uh, he's, he's on a sugar rush. Um, right. Um, I, think we've got, I think we've got an answer from Paul, by the way. I'll have, uh, a, I'll have a look in a sec. Assassin's United, it, same team tomorrow. Another win for the Super Sky Blues. Um, we've got Wayne again. Positive Wayne. Um, good three points. <laughs> uh, but we made hard work, did our best to allow them back good in the day. second half. Still think we look ropey at the back at times. Better finishing from Huddersfield could have seen a different result. Yeah. Josh uh, Eccles was fantastic. Oh, no, he didn't put that. Like I <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely not waiting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, the Huddersfield commentators would praise us a lot, actually. They're really, really positive. Um, and Sasses Unite, they need to mix up the passing around the box and knocking it long. But Robin mm -hmm. said in the post match interview, we tell them to do that, and that's what will happen sometimes. So it's, mm, well, what do, you, what do you do? They're encouraged to do it. Um, Rob Nichols, I think we looked super in the first half, sat back a little in the second, but always felt we had another couple of gears. Um, Wayne Vaughan, I keep meaning to ask when Steve and Tom are on, how do you become Cov fans being Welsh? We'll get to that, definitely. <laughs> i got two Welsh fans coming to my house. I mean, one of them was meant to be on tonight, but apparently they got a game in six hours session or something, so he can't come on. And uh, they're coming from Pembrokeshire, so they're setting off at half seven or seven in the morning to get to my house. Really? Okay. Yeah, yeah. And then, and then I'm taking them to the game. Right, Graham Cockrell, we should not fear any teams. We've got to play in the run. We are more than capable of making top six. Um, Dave Granigan, we have to trust what Robbins does. He knows the players better than we do, and I'm sure Robbins and his team will do their best to keep the players as fit and ready as they can for every game. Right, I'll do one more because we'll, we'll ask about the the Welshness of our Welshness, our Welsh supporters. <laughs> uh, Stephen Tom, is there a South Wales supporters club still up and running? There yes, is, yeah, there is. So the question is, how? Yeah. Why do you support Coventry? <laughs> It's my fault, that is. <laughs> it's his fault. So basically, um, my uncle moved up to um, Coventry to work rugby initially with the prison service. So I've got my uncle and two cousins up there. And uh, I was best man at my cousin's wedding in Coventry. And it was sort of midnight and the wife stopped. I was going, can I have a drink? You're not going to have the baby now, are you? Can I have a drink? <laughs> and she was going, no, no, no. And then, uh, and then we rushed her off and Tom... Ended up being born in Wolfsgrave Hospital 25 oh, years ago. Oh. And uh, I've converted him from, he used to be a Liverpool fan, but uh, he's oh, in the light. In the light. He's got <laughs> sent now. I was adamant from day one, I was Coventry, always Coventry. And I took him up um, twice a year as he was a, when he was a little boy, and it was six, seven years before we saw us win. Yeah. And the first <laughs> oh, time uh... <laughs> we just watched Wales in the semi final of the World Cup when Sam Warburton got sent off for a tip tackle. And we lost to France. And then, so I was quite upset. We drove straight up to Coventry and we beat not Nil Forest. Forest. One nil. One nil. And it was nervy. There was 10 minutes at a time. It was uh, yeah. hanging on. Uh, but I, I know I've been the bane of my mate's existence growing up here. Everyone's Liverpool or Man United. And I've been uh, the one who isn't. <laughs> the odd one out. <laughs> So, you, so you're in the South Wales Supporters Club, are you? you yes. So yeah. How do people, if there's people listening, now or watching and they want to join up how do they get in touch with them um i think colin power yeah or if they get in touch with with me we there can... is a facebook group yeah there is a yeah. facebook group um colin power and steve maloney run it and yeah. funny enough steve maloney lives the other yeah. side of Cumbran <laughs> to us so he, he's very close and uh they're picking us up in the van tomorrow so there's quite a few members, would you say? Um, um, well, my membership number was 14. <laughs> well, <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> probably 20 now then. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's, good. That's good. At least we know. Um, well, we're Scarborough fans anyway. Everywhere you go, you know, you see, you meet yeah. Scarborough fans, even on holiday, you know, abroad. But um, uh, any more comments, Claudia? Is there any more coming in? Uh, loads. Um, well, we'll, we'll get. We'll try and get through as many as we can then. Right. So, 
Dave Granigan, I think we should bring Sammy Smodix in as O'Hare's replacement. What do you think, guys? I think the uh, Huddersfield player, Rodoni, um, he looked quite handy. He looked, he looked decent, yeah. He did yeah. look decent. He yeah, and if they go, if they go down, they'll shoot. let him go for peanuts, won't they? Because yeah, they'll be on the yeah. he's, a, he's a good player to bring in. Hmm. Uh, Smodix is a good player, but he's having, is he just having one of those seasons? I think he is. I, I think it's a bit of a um, um, Chirac-Pom kind of season. Yeah, and and he'd cost a lot as well, I think. He would, yeah. Yeah, he's a bit better our model, does he? Um, mm. um, Nick Lowe, I fancy Coventry to beat Cardiff and Leeds both at home. <laughs> Le- Leeds are a yeah. team as well, to be honest. I know they're at the top, but uh, so they didn't, didn't look very good. impressive against Watford, did they? The other night, when I um, watched them. No, Leeds. no. no. Um, if Casey Palmer adds goals to his game, we definitely have a player on our hands. That's from Gibbo. Um, this is from Gar eighty seven. I put a video of Sims. On one of the forums a few weeks back, we are now starting to see some of the, the Sims in that video. <coughs> yeah. Um, Ian Courts, anyone seen Pep's little moan? Yeah. Um, <laughs> He's now, a comp- now he says we are going to be on holiday. We uh, Chelsea and Man United are going to be on holiday while they're still playing. Yeah. Well, I'm. I'm going to just show. I'm going to read something out now. I'm, on this and, and I find it hilarious because if you just bear with me I'm looking at if I get the um, I'm trying to get their lineup so we got their bench he's he's on about the fact all right this is their their bench I mean it's ridiculous mm-hmm. so he's moaning about the fix of congestion isn't he and saying that mm-hmm. you know it, for a start he doesn't realize we pay play about Eight games more, anyway. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so they're on their bench today. Stones, Grealish, Doku, Alvarez, Gomez, Nunes. Car- What's Carson still doing there? Um, Bob <laughs> and Lewis. That's their bench. Yeah. You know, I just think, oh, just get on with it, man. Stop your blinking moaning. I think it's, it's got it's a big the tour of South Korea in the USA. Well, that's the, yeah, that's the trouble, isn't it? They said, they say this all season, moaning about fixture congestion, and then mm. they go to some city tournament somewhere, play more games, and you're just like, well, I've got no sympathy for you then. I mean, it's just ridiculous. I mean, I wish we had Champions League football to look forward to. <laughs> if they didn't want it, we'll have it. A couple of seasons, we'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be <laughs> well, we've, we've got a you know, fixture congestion, haven't we? And we've got yeah. a, they've got 45 players probably in their squad. Yeah. Mm. You know, it's ridiculous. Yeah, I think he's had a bit of a cheap job there, isn't he, really? He's getting uh, his excuses in early, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, of course he's getting his excuses in, yeah. But, um, you know, we certainly play We play more games than them, so they can't... If he's moaning about Man United and Chelsea, that's fine, but you can't moan about the games we're playing because we're playing more than them. Uh, Assassin's United, as I said, Palmer's our best player. Sometimes he has to believe it. it I feel he's starting to. He's loved by the management and fans. Mm-hmm. Mm. I thought that first 25 minutes was excellent. Uh, you know, yeah. And really, what was the game? Yeah. I mean, what, did, yeah. What, went wrong, what, what went wrong in the second half, do you think? Did we just switch off or did we just... Because uh, I expected a lot more goals down our end. I bet you did as well, Vicky. Uh, yeah, and we had, to wait the, we had to wait to stop <laughs> before Hadji yeah. scored the third. We just... It was as if like, we'd won the gap. I always got the impression we could go up a gear. Because Huddersfield weren't that good, were they? But... I don't know. I don't know. We just switched off. We get giving the ball away, making silly mistakes. I think that was probably it, wasn't it, Ken? I think they thought they'd got the game won, and they're just conserving energy yeah. for like the win it, and and unfortunately just stepped back a bit too far. Yeah, and then it was a bit more difficult for ourselves than we really needed to. Um, especially yeah, like once we give away a silly goal, because then it got to the stage where you're thinking, are we going to throw this away entirely? Mm. Um, yeah, I, I mean, we we were like in sort of about. Second gear for most of that second half, we could have easily stepped it up, couldn't we? But um, yeah, yeah, it felt like we were just resting on our levels a little bit. Yeah, definitely. What did you think, Tom? Tom and Steve, the second half was a bit subdued, wasn't it? Yeah, and that, that we didn't mind, did we? Nothing happened no. for twenty minutes. No, and the, the clock was just ticking, and we just thought, yeah. okay, it's, you know, it's all fine. Um, yeah, I, I, I felt we took the foot, foot off the gas. And um, but we look slow, you, you mm. know, when um, Vadoni hit the bar, 
Yeah. It bounced in front of about two Coventry players and no one reacted. Mm. I think mm. Radoni was the furthest player away from it and he got to the ball yeah. first and we were lucky he hit the bar. Um, but that's, that, that was all they offered. The one that hit the post was never going in, really. Anyway. Yeah. Um, that's all they... And we gave them the way in, didn't we? With drag yeah, goals. I mean, when we, so when we play out from the battle like that, we're gonna, there's going to be very similar to Man City, isn't it? Because I've seen them concede a goal similar to that on a couple of occasions where the keepers give the ball away and then you're in no man's land. Then the guy only has to put the ball in the empty net, doesn't he? So um, well, that was still great. Clear it, and it's a... Uh an easy 2-0 win, never got a second gear kind of... Yeah, uh... yeah. I mean, I don't mind if we were 4-0 up, but 2-0 uh, up and 2-1, a bit different, isn't it? You, yeah. you know, get, it lifts their crowd and we're, they're back in the game and really they should have been outside, you know, to be honest. I, I thought the big difference, though, was confidence. Yeah. You always have that air of confidence about us, you know, mm. like Sims, the way he was striking it first time, not falling over himself like normal. Yeah. You know, we, we had that confidence and they, they lacked it. So I think that, that was the difference. Yeah. And um, Hadji uh, got his goal right at the end. He took it well, didn't he, in the end? Even though I don't think he did a lot during the game, but he, he got his goal. Well, he, I think the second half, though, Ken, mm -hmm. we were managing the game, weren't we? And we've always... How many times have you turned up and we've just gone, oh, wouldn't it be great if we get two early goals and just... Yeah, and, and out, kind yeah. Of that's what we're doing. We've done that quite often this season, the last yeah. since Christmas. Yeah. The trouble is, it can become a bit boring in the second half because nothing happens. We're just yeah. trying to see the game out, aren't we? There's no need to get a goal, really. Yeah. And then, and you could say, well, we then let a goal in, and then we went up the other end and got a goal. Yeah, so, you know, but referring to how you're right, I just wish Adrian would come on who rang up CWR and had the rant, which was, I think, absolutely. I, I missed that. Bizarre. I haven't heard. Go so, back and listen to it. I mean, I can understand his frustrations in some ways, but he was basically trying to say he was non-existent throughout the whole game. Yeah. Um, this is a bloke who's just come off the plane, pretty much. And, yeah, and, well, and Oggy pointed out, well, it's a good job he stayed on the pitch because he scored. Yeah, and I, I was surprised he did stay on the pitch. I thought Robbins might have brought him off at some stage and brought maybe Tavares on or whatever, you know, some, a bit earlier because he had played international football and I thought, well, he's going to give him a rest in a minute, but... He took Sims off, didn't he, rather than Hadji, which is... And, you know. and if you notice, the pair of them are celebrating now. Mm. It, it feels like, I think they can feel they've finally got over that barrier of do they like us or not. It, that takes a while with the fan base. It does. Of course it does, you know, yeah. Unless you're already Ronaldo or Messi. You're going to get, <laughs> as soon as you walk on the pitch, that's it, isn't it? You know. Yeah. But, but these guys have, and they've worked hard. And, and yeah. as a fan base, you've just got to get behind them now. This... We've got so many big games coming up, you know, and we've said it week in, week out. It's the best time to be a Cough fan that I can remember since 1987. End of. Well, Claudio, yeah. Claudio, on my Facebook today, it came up with a memory from 12 years ago. And I was saying, oh, great result by City, like blah, blah. And I thought, oh, I wonder what that was that was 12 years ago that was so great. So I had a look to see what game we played 12 years ago today. And we beat Hull 2 0 at Hull. And it was yeah. our first away game of that. It was our first away win of that season to take us out of the relegation zone. And I thought, so 12 years ago, I was happy because we'd managed to win away like in March. So it took till March to win away from home. And it's taken us out of the relegation zone. And that was success back then. And I yeah. thought, compared to where we are now, it's just so polar opposite. Um, mm. It just is crazy. <laughs> I've yeah. said before, on, on average, away from home, we'd win four games a season. Yeah, it, That's how it was. We were rubbish away from home for years yeah. and years and years. And I've said it plenty of times. I, I turn up, watch our team. I feel we've got a chance in every game we play. Yeah. I don't care who we play against now. That's yeah. how I feel. Well, I, I quite agree there. I must agree with you. I think we're, it's all down to confidence, I think, as well. If you've got confidence, confidence and the momentum, We've certainly got momentum at the moment, and uh, there's not many teams uh, that are bad as this. Well, I don't think anybody's really battered us, have they, this year? Oh, the Preston. Yeah. The Preston, that was Preston, dreadful. apart from the Preston home game, which I still can't get my head around. That really. was an anomaly, though, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah it's one of them where uh, you got you can get away with one or two players having a bad game, but when you've got the whole team yeah. having, having a bad game, then you're going to struggle, aren't you? You know. That, that, that's the, the danger with Coventry. Now, I, I was really confident going to that game. I thought, we're on a charge. Yeah. This is a big game. 
and we were dreadful from the first 30 seconds when they put the ball in the back of the net and we got mm. worse from there we were yeah. if, if it had been southampton they would have put seven or eight on us we were that bad yeah. that day but it was just a blip you look yeah. at it, it was it's the same as last season when we played stoke at home and lost what, four now yeah exactly yeah that's dodgy result in this you're always gonna have you're gonna have one of them you're going to have yeah. one of those games. Every you? season we have one, don't we? There's like Yeovil yeah. a few years back. I mean, there's always a game. We always have Even a game the best like that. But that's the problem, though. I'm really confident. I feel we're going to beat Cardiff six points over Easter. I feel it's coming. But you just think, oh, no, we're going to have another Stoke, another Preston here. I well, can feel it, you know. <laughs> so, so if, what, if, what the. Uh, Tom, what's your thoughts on how you write then? Uh, you, Pair, what, what do you think? I think he's brilliant. I think he's. Um, he reminds me a lot of Jokeres. He's so physical. He's so you know great out wide. Brings the ball into the box. Gets the ball across the box really well. I, I think he's a brilliant player. I, I really do. I, I think the US team were were silly to not name him in the squad initially. I think they they realised after the Wolves game, didn't they? But um, I think he's a brilliant player. Yeah, I, I agree. You could see there was pace. Um, he just needed a little bit of confidence mm. to, to shoot earlier. And I've got to say, at times on uh, Friday at Huddersfield, he, he was a bit slow to, to get a shot away, and I felt he should have been quicker. Mm. But the last uh, month or so, he's taken that out of his game, and he's been yeah. really confident, scoring crucial goals for America and obviously us in the Wolves game and the Huddersfield and game. I mean, it, it says a lot as well. I, I don't think he played particularly well um, the other day against Huddersfield, no. but he's still... The goal he took quite well. To be fair, yeah. there was a moment of, uh, of quality from him. To be fair, because mm. he should have scored. Yeah, the first few minutes, he shouldn't he? He was put yeah, through. Yeah. Was, that another, yeah. was that another Palmer ball? Was it? I don't think, was it Casey played that ball? I think it was Palmer, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah it was, it was mm. a, I can't remember because put a good ball through at one point. I can't remember if that was that move or not. Mm. Josh Eccles put a good ball through. He did. I don't know why believe me, but that happened on that happened Stop on Friday. Started rumours, Vicky. You started. Yeah. It was actually some corners that beat the first man as well by yeah. Josh Eccles. In fact, they floated over the back, but it's better than for, you know the first man. So it's an improvement. Well, he must have been. been he must have been player. cold. He's a different mm. player when Ben Sheaf is near him. He's a different mm. player. Mm. You know, he, right. Okay. Well, look. Let's let us um, let's have a little break. We'll have the adverts. And then we'll come back. There's quite a lot of comments. There you. is. <laughs> and they're all piling up. We'll have a look at the comments and then we'll talk a little bit about a bit more about Cardiff on Monday. Sky Blue Fans TV. For the fans, by the fans. Hello, welcome back to Scarborough Fans TV, where we're talking Huddersfield in the first half. Plenty of conversation after that uh, fantastic 3-1 away win. Uh, we've got loads of comments to go through. Just to remind you, though, we've got a Guess the Gate competition going on. Get your, get your uh, guesses in, please, for the, uh, well, just basically guessing the attendance for the Cardiff game. Uh, I think it's near enough a full house than what I'm hearing, but um, get your guesses in. Let's see, see how many... You guess, and uh, if you get the nearest one, we'll get win you now for uh, Scarborough Fans TV mug. So it's well worth um, a shot. You never know. Um, you yeah, know, you never know. You might you might just clinch a mug this week. So, uh, but be close to sell out because I don't think there's many tickets left. Right. Okay. Uh, Claudia, I've got loads of well, a couple of things we're going to go through first before we um, before we get to the um, the comments. Uh, George and John statue appeal. That's uh, still ongoing. Still need to raise a bit of money there. Uh, they are getting a lot better, getting a bit higher, but we still need a bit more in there. There's your account details, sort code. Anything as little as a fiver would do would be fantastic. 
Noel Whelan night. We had um, the Northern Supporters Club on the other week explaining about this Noel Whelan night. Got a comedian. It's Friday the 5th of April at the Tavern and it's raising money for charity as well. So that'd be a good night. It's Noel Whelan. I'm sure he'll have a few stories to tell along with the comedian. It's £10 a night. £10 on a night. A ticket. So there is plenty of tickets left. So um, you can get your tickets um, on the Tavern or you can uh, get the details on there. Okay. Also, Jack, who comes on now and again on our podcast, uh, part of our team, one of the young lads, he's uh, boxing MMA in Coventry. Uh, you can get your tickets if you want to go and see that event. It's a very interesting event on the um, same day as the Birmingham game, actually. Uh, it's ultratickets.co.uk. You get your tickets from for that event. Okay. Claudio, loads of comments coming through. Let's see if we can get through a few. So that's from Nick Lowe. Sims is only 23. Jesus. Wait until he peaks. I'm worried the Prem Club will sniff him out after the Wolves game. <laughs> <coughs> I think the thing with Sims as well was that because he came from Everton, I, I think some people probably thought he was more of a finished article than he, he was. He, he actually yeah. hadn't played that many games at this sort of level. I think about 17% of them and about 11 sub appearances for Everton. And then mm. virtually everything else was at like, either lower level or in Scotland. So he was relatively inexperienced for his age, and I think that was probably part of what um, prompted the move, because I know when he came to the tavern at the beginning of the season, he was talking about like developing, and I suspect he felt probably that he wasn't at Everton because he was getting shipped here, there, and everywhere. Mm. But I, don't, I think that some people thought that we were probably signing a more finished Premier League striker, and we just weren't. It, it was a young player to be developed. Yeah. Um, well, so, yeah, that, that probably helped him either. Well, Sunderland lost... Family player for what, 3.5 million we paid from, I think, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, well, Sunderland lost Sims, didn't they? Because obviously he went back to Everton and then they lost Stewart and their campaign ended really last year. I know they got yeah. uh, you know, into the playoffs. They, scored, they, they, didn't really, uh, they didn't really recover after that, did they? No, they should have really been in there comfortably in the playoffs at one stage. They, they were flying, weren't they? And they lost two. Yeah. You know, he was scoring goals for them and then they had him back. So I think they thought they could do something with him and then they never played him. So he mm. spent six months sat on the bench. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Ralph Wiggins, um, well done, Victoria. Some fans can't see the wood for the trees. Though. Look at it. Look at Vicky all smoke. <laughs> <laughs> well, the trouble is, I mean, you have to. You, you, it's a risk, isn't it? Because it, like, I mean, I would put that out on social media. If it had flopped, people would have been like, so, I mean, you have to stand by it and take the risk that you're either going to look silly or not. So when it goes well, you just have to. Like, smile. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, mean, I, I get fed up though when you get people going, oh, where are the haters now? Because that's a bit extreme. It's just, uh, it's, so people are voicing opinion. You see a game, yeah. you, if you, you know, you're allowed to say you didn't think somebody's playing very well. Uh, you know, it's, you know so that's just an opinion, isn't it? Don't get upset about it. I put a post about that on Facebook the other day because I said, I think there's a whole difference between having an opinion about a player. There are people on social media who are still actively looking to, like not like him for some reason, which I think I just find really odd. I mean, I don't know why you wouldn't want to support your own player. So mm. there are some people mm. on social media still doing that. Um, and so I consider that, that, that they're a bit odd. But a lot of people would just, it's just an opinion about how you see a player. And that's that's not a hater. That's just a different point of view, isn't it? Um, mm. so I, did, I, did, I did make a comment about that the other day. And uh, I've just seen this comment. I'll put it up now. I've probably seen it. I think you should be banned, Vicky, because you're talking too much common sense. As well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, and, and Wayne Vaughan said Sunderland didn't want to lose him from loan, which is quite correct. It's true. It's true. Uh, and during a watching from the Cobtail Telegraph Hotel. Oh, very nice. Oh. Nice. We're in the South Stand tomorrow. Let's see how it goes. Loving the team. Um, um, Mark Robbins, uh, PUSB. Oh, very nice. Yes, very nice. Yeah. 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 You can see that right and Sims with good players and showing it consistently now. <laughs> um, we have Dave Saunders, Sims and Wright still not the full article yet. Yeah. And Craig Robinson, anyone on the panel change their minds regarding who will be top scorer for the Sky Blues? Ellis, um, Sims, Sims or Ellis, or maybe uh, Wright and, yeah, Wright and Sims. Um, when I asked the same question here a couple of weeks ago, because we said, would they get to 20, was it Miles said? Do you know yeah, yeah. Get, well, get get 20 goal. Goal? And I think Robbins has set him a target, hasn't he? I don't know what that target is, I presume it's 20 each. 
Well, the way they were cheering at 15 goals, I reckon they've hit a target already. Yeah. <laughs> well, I said Sims when Craig asked that question before. Um, so I'll, um, I'll, I'll stick with Sims. I, I asked a question on Facebook and no one's answered this, actually. I, I was saying, has anyone ever scored? Have we ever had two strikers who've both got over 20 goals in one season before? Has that ever happened? Um, well, yeah, you might know that. <laughs> um, media. I know Ferguson and Wallace got over 40 between them, but one had got um, in their 20s and one was just below. Yeah. That is a good question, Vicky. I know a very good friend you'll know. Yeah, I'm sure you could. Yeah, I can, that's a, a bit very good question. Yeah. Mm. I mean, I, any, I mean, it, it, it's brilliant, isn't it, really? <laughs> um. I, mean, I personally, I think, I think they can both get twenty goals now. I mean, yeah. who's going? <laughs> but it's difficult to choose who's going to get there first because they're both scoring now. It's... Yeah, I mean, you might have to bet Hadji because he takes the penalties. Maybe I don't know. So this is from Henry uh, Redmond. So <laughs> surely Super Tom Jarvis would be a proper. <laughs> Do we need to know who we're talking about here? He's a very good goalkeeper, but he, he plays for the team I play for. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Uh, Mark Rainbow, uh, what was the fee we pay for Ellis? I read three million at the time. There have been loads of comments online in commentary about it being eight million. I think it's Haji Wright might go up to. Haji no, the... was about eight, I think. Yeah. It goes up to the, nine. The other ones are stupid. It was basically he's got to win a Ballon d'Or. He's got mm -hmm. to have an England cap. If all, and he's got to be top scorer in the league. So it was never going to be eight million. And if it was, we'd gladly pay it if he had a, oh, yeah. all those achievements. <laughs> so I think it was three and a half with numerous add ons. We, we probably ended up paying million. about four yeah. or five, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this is from Grand Cockrell. Sims is a different kind of player to Vic. Yeah. Too many people try to rate him to Vic. That's not fair. He's his own man. It's it's interesting how the comments about Vitor Jokeres in like forums have quietened down a bit now. The two lads are scoring. Mm. At the start of the season, it was ridiculous. You know, it's just, yeah. Uh, Paul Hughes, hi Claudia. My mum is 84, <laughs> and she told us on Friday that her first Sky Blue game was 1946, and she does look younger than me. Well, she does. She looks, <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what uh, Paul, she looks fantastic for 84. Well, my, <laughs> I think my mother in law is 84, and she still goes out running. Yeah, what a lovely lady she was. Yes, yeah, she, it was lovely to be there. Lovely lady. Telling us all about her uh, Sky Blue history and the. Living yeah. behind, down by the Mercer's Arms and Swan Lane, and this and we, we, we had fantastic stories. Uh, Lowy eighty-seven, um, Coventry will beat both Cardiff and Leeds if Sims carries on. But then Prem teams will come sniffing. Well, you've always got that risk, haven't you? They all, always have to goal scores, aren't they? Trouble is, yeah. they always underestimate. I mean, Premiership players were looking at Vic and then they let him go over to Portugal. Yeah. And now they're going to pay about five times the price because Mental, they, don't to trust, they don't seem to trust that it, it means anything if you score and goals in the Championship, which yeah. is really weird because actually I'd say that's more competitive than the Portuguese league. But anyway, that's... Yeah, yeah. I agree. Because they're, yeah. they're playing like the Europa Cup. They only play... They don't play teams that would be... I mean, obviously, if you come across Liverpool or something like that in the Europa League, it's different. But there's a lot of teams they play wouldn't be able to compete in the championship of that Europa League. Yeah. Mm. And, uh, I don't know. Yeah, you're right, Vicky. It, it's, it's ridiculous. Uh, Quinton Cartwright, <coughs> who do you think Mark Robbins will bring in as a new coach? That'd be I think we should bring in Ashley Cole. Oh, well, that'd be interesting. Who, wasn't he oh. at Birmingham? He was at Birmingham under Rooney, wasn't he? I think. Oh, that's a good he question. Part, he was part yeah. of the Rooney team that... Uh, at Birmingham, then they all left. Obviously, he was at Derby as well under Frank Lampard, I believe. So I don't know where he is at the moment, whether he's out of work or whatever. But uh, yeah, they should look to bring somebody in, definitely. I mean, I'm no doubt Robbins will have somebody lined up. Might have to wait till the summer for that to happen, though, I suppose, with um, people under contract and stuff like that. I can't, yeah. I mean, coaching wise, I can't, even, yeah. Apparently, uh, Gary O'Neill's a good coach. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm looking at him, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah. 
<laughs> it's, that's a difficult one, isn't it? Because you don't know how the club want to move forward either. Yeah. Uh, maybe someone like Michael Doyle, maybe he's coaching now somewhere in the lower leagues, isn't he? He's at Notts County, isn't he? Yeah. He's, he's moved on now, hasn't he? He's, he's, got, he's got his coaching. Else. Yeah, he's got somewhere he's got else. Coaching. He's got his coaching badges, hasn't he? Um, I mean, he knows yeah. the club well enough. I mean, Ashley Cole, there's a Chelsea connection with Vibash there, I think. Mm. Um, you never know, do you? No. I'm sure he's got some at. Uh, some at plan, Robbins, knowing knowing him, he'll have somebody lined up. So this is uh, for Tom, I think. Give us a song, <laughs> TP. <laughs> George Davis, you a bit of a singer? Um, uh, not really. <laughs> Anybody's had a few points. Doesn't stop me. Oh, yeah, doesn't stop but me. Apparently, if you're Welsh, you can sing. I can never to say other things, but um... <laughs> isn't that right? If you're Welsh, you can sing. Is that? <laughs> <laughs> that, isn't it? <laughs> um, do you follow the rugby at all? Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just asking. Unfortunately, this year. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the I've got the flag covered up at the minute with the coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't until the other week. <laughs> I mean, no doubt. Talking a little bit about I mean, you must have been bitterly disappointed for the Wales football team not to qualify as well. Um, they just didn't quite do enough on the night, did they, against Poland? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> these players are one of the losses. The uh, yeah, losses I mean, I, yeah, I thought that they'd, they'd have a good chance against Poland, guys, but I, I yeah. fancy us. Um, at home, I think Wales can beat anyone in Cardiff on our yeah. day. Yeah. It wasn't to be, was it? At the end of the day, we all know lot penalties are lottery, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, yeah. oh. We and as Welsh Coventry fans, we really yeah. hate penalty shootouts now. <laughs> we all know that, yeah. It's interesting because um, we've got David Phillips coming on soon. And yes. he was he was doing the code commentary on that game. So it uh, be interesting to talk to him about that. How many of those Welsh players would have made the England C team? It's, yeah, it's... it's well, Wales did the England C the other week, but... <laughs> and, and Poland are a tricky opposition. They are yeah. a tricky opposition. Yeah. That, 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 you know... Chesney had a great game. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> we'll move on from that now. <laughs> so this is Deck J7. Should cop by Thomas uh, Pricicinio from Palmyra. <laughs> fullback. Can use both feet and lethal cross. I, I, I think you've got a fan club going on here. Yeah. <laughs> this is the, a the Football club are watching this. Uh, I think that's the football team are watching. Yeah, was <laughs> it uh, only prison? That's the uh, that's where they were from, wouldn't they? It was the, uh, <laughs> the it's the youth place, isn't it? Youth oh yeah, teaching centre. Yeah, there's two next to each other, isn't there? Boyd Hill and on there next to each other, I think. Um, so this is from Trevor Merriman. My friends in the. South Wales Community City Sports Club. How many do we have? All oh, right. Well, we know you've got 14. There's three then. Yeah. <laughs> We're at least 14. <laughs> oh, okay. But there's a you know small but mighty. Yeah. Um, Graham Cockrell, maybe Aston Villa got another O'Hare available for us. <laughs> That'd be nice. That'd be nice. Um, so Marshall Roberts, <laughs> TP Scaredo. Because I didn't serve the pigs, other pigs. <laughs> <laughs> Gusto Audio, thanks for the great streams, cough fan here in Pamploma. Oh, Northern Spain. Spain. Oh, You're not chasing the bulls, are you? <laughs> that, that's scary. I mean, I've, that's just mental, isn't it? That is. Yeah. I mean, when they get chased by the bulls. Yeah. Uh, it's a bit. <laughs> TP is my hero. <laughs> <See>? <laughs> Come on, you Sky Blues, up the Welsh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you not pre-read them before you put I've them on? I, think, yeah. <laughs> I, I, go, I go full on in. <laughs> Wayne Vaughan, international break at the wrong time for us again. Well, well I mean, I don't know. We, we've come back and we've won, haven't we? So I, I feel, the only thing is, I suppose I was worried because of the break. I thought we'd draw yeah. on Friday just because of the break. Not yeah. that we're going to play badly. But we don't normally come back. Good, do we? No. no. We're notorious um, for not doing well. So <laughs> Mark Cunningham, I wish we wouldn't mess around at the back like we did for the Huddersfield yeah, goal. Yeah. Mm. I, yeah, I mean, sometimes it, I think it's got to go long. Um, even uh, all this is for me in small, flying over for a massive game versus Leeds. Sims and Wright making a few of us reconsider our early views. 
Long may it continue. Well done. Good evening, Ian. Hope you're well. That's good. Yeah. A nice three o'clock kickoff for Ian as well because they keep on moving the games around. So at least that they one's um, I bet he's still it's three o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and he's mentioned. I mean, I know Ian was quite uh, had some strong views at the start of the season about the two guys up front, but uh, and he's you know, as he says, it's uh, he's having to change his mind, which is fair enough. I think there's Ian, you, and along with about fifty percent of this fan base, I think, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, Assassins United, right? He is an international player of the decent of a decent side playing in the Championship. We'll do well to keep him. I mean, I've said plenty of times in the past I mean was it a touch of a trampoline I said (laughs) (laughs) uh, they're proving me wrong (laughs) so um, uh, Prince Andrew apparently Uh, 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 I did they have a ginormous squad easily filled two teams maybe timing isn't great for him but they've played 10 less league games and when you're the best and and you're in the Champions League yeah he's talking about Man City uh, yeah. um, Paul Hughes Preston wanted a Lonsdale belt not three points they were horrible to watch they were weren't they they are a horrible team yeah I don't like them at all um, from Glenn Watkin Cov will be in the playoffs after 5pm on Saturday that'd be fantastic wouldn't it yeah <laughs> that'd be brilliant Ralph Wiggins the Preston match had the Bidwell effect <laughs> And we've got Robin Fletcher. Top teams want to win all the trophies, then complain about fixtures piling up. Palmer is offering more to the team than her here at the moment. Yeah, yeah. Bidwell, contender for player of the season, as for our form changes soon as he came to the side. Yeah. And uh, we've still got loads of comments here. <laughs> Are you uh, monitoring them? Yeah, <laughs> Craig Robinson. Some big games coming up in April: Leeds, Southampton, Ipswich, and the rearranged game against Hull. We're going to have a big say in the promotion spots, including our own, of course. Yeah. So we'll stop at this one. Hypothetical question: If Sporting Lisbon offered twenty million for Haji White to place their Arsenal-bound, a hundred million player Victor Jokeres, would we take it? Wow, that's an interesting question. Uh, I think at the end of the day, as a Championship club without parachute payments. That kind of money, you you don't say no to yeah. it. No, you're silly to no. say no to it. If we didn't go up, then yes, we'd have to do yeah. it, wouldn't we? If you're in the yeah. Premier League, it's a different story. But in the Championship, I think yeah. someone comes in with twenty million for anyone, you you take it definitely. Yeah, and you think as well, like I mean, so we'd have the money from Vic, like the um Salon clause, twenty million for right, what we could do with that, like how much more we could strengthen the. I mean, we've already seen the season, haven't we? We spoke earlier on about how the whole overall team is stronger this year that sort of money would just take us on again um, yeah. and then the championship that that would that would be a massive move forward yeah mm. yeah so, <laughs> so from O Eastman Tom Price can't speak German <laughs> <laughs> no well, idea what that means he's, he's okay. got a German degree and he was hoping <laughs> Wales were going to go to the Euros uh, in Germany uh, <laughs> They're trying to call me out, Abby Kandos. <laughs> my, uh, my work, my, my wife's a German. She teaches German, so uh, yeah, could have helped you out there. <laughs> and, <laughs> uh, Trevor Merriman, agree with Ralph Bidwell, joint player of the season. Uh, with uh, so far with Sheaf. Mm-hmm. Right. Sheaf's right up there, definitely. Yeah. Right. Shall we? We're talking. Shall we talk a little bit about Cardiff games yes. now? Yes. We'll come back to the come back to the comments in a bit. I know there is quite a few still to go through, but we'll come back to them. Um, Claudia, would you would you keep the same team again? Yeah, you know, I presume you would, because you, you you're not interested in resting players, are you? Um, I, to be honest, I don't think. Um, yeah, keep the same team. At least start with the same team. I don't. Um, the only possible change would be O'Hare for Casey. I think at the minute. Mm. Um, Talk could talk start instead of Eccles, yeah. possibly. Yeah, yeah. Um, trying to think at the back, I, I don't think it will change it much. No, yeah, you know, it's a game we need to win. And if these lads can do it again, start them if they're feeling great, you play them. That's my my opinion. Uh, Vicky, would you, would you agree with that? Yeah, definitely. I think as well, because we're doing well, 
well, players want to just play, don't they? They'll all be they'll be they'll all be up for playing. It's when you're down the bottom end of the table and you're struggling and you're starting to get niggles because like you're not feeling great and confidence is that when when it's like we are at the moment, they'll all be buzzing to play again on Monday. So unless somebody's actually got a problem that like the medical staff are saying they shouldn't play, I just think you you just stick the same team in and, and keep that momentum going and that confidence yeah. going. Yeah. Um Steve, Tom, would you say agree yeah. probably? Like I said earlier, really, I, I thought the changes would have been on Friday, you know, rested some of the guys that have had flights and international games with a view to definitely picking our best starting eleven t- tomorrow against Cardiff. Mm. Uh, but he didn't do that. And one of the comments said, you know, you've got to trust in the management and they always get it absolutely right. because And they were absolutely right because those players didn't look tired at all. Casey Palmer was just superb. Um, so... Yeah, like I said, I would have done it differently Friday, but I think we keep the same team for Monday, definitely. Yeah, I, I mean, um, if, one player I'd like to see him in his talk. Mm-hmm. Um, I think yeah. we've got more to see from him. He's, he's got more to give, and um, the, the corners are not not right. We haven't got them mm-hmm. sorted out yet, so we need to do something different from the dead ball. Um, so I would mm-hmm. like to see talk come in, and like Clive said, maybe we'll hear for Palmer. I think they're pretty interchangeable, really. So. Yeah. I'd, I'd like to see Torp and, and um, Ben Chief give him a run in midfield. I think that would be a good midfield. It's quite strong. Um, maybe give Eccles a rest, maybe. Um, mm. I've got a funny feeling he might um, he might play O'Hare, you know, tomorrow and give Palmer on the bench and then bring Palmer on. I don't know. I've just got a funny feeling that might happen. Um, They've got uh, Esbran playing as a uh, left yeah. back. Yeah, full back. How are they? Yeah, Not so I'm well. hoping Milan and whoever else is out there can really get at him. Yeah, because he can't defend. We know he can't defend. Yeah, yeah. So um, that'd be interesting. Uh, uh, if we can move the ball like we did for the second goal, we'll blow Cardiff away. Yeah, that, that second goal was brilliant. Four passes from the back, yeah. straight through the middle, straight out wide, cut inside. It's just a perfect goal. Great. You see that on the Match of the day, they'd be raving about one of the top six teams in the Premier League. The way we broke away and scored that—that that, that was clinical. That was really good. If we can do that, um, move the ball like that, we'll, we'll take Cardiff, no problems tomorrow. Of course, they lost. Um, they lost at home, didn't they, uh, on Friday to Sunderland? Yeah, Sunderland against a Sunderland team. I think have lost six previously, or won one out of the last seven, or something. I know they'd lost six in a row, Sunderland at one stage. Cardiff um, on the beach now, so if we yeah. turn up, we we blow them away. I think I agree. Yeah, um, I mean, do, do you think he should use more of his subs at times, um, Claudio Robbins? I mean, did you think he used them more okay on on Friday? Considering, yeah. obviously, I thought personally, I thought maybe Hadji should have come off because he'd been playing abroad, uh, he'd play overseas, and maybe give him a little bit of rest. But he kept him on and brought. I'm yeah, I, Sims off, which surprised I, I surprised he didn't take him off purely because I thought he'd keep Sims on to try and get a hat trick. Yes, mm. that, yeah. that's the only reason. And mm. for some reason, he decided to take Ennis off and just keep. I mean, because we don't know whether or not it's a tactical thing and he's kept right there to keep somebody quiet from the Huddersfield team. He, you know, it could be that for all we know. You know, there may have been a reason for it. Yeah, mm. it's, I'm just. Yeah, yeah. yeah. As, as you said, I mean, he, he sees the players. <laughs> Day in day out, doesn't he? So he knows, he knows more about them uh, than any of us really. So he knows how fit they are and any niggles they've got. Um, I don't know the news about Jamie Allen. I've seen a comment there about any news about Jamie Allen. Uh, said for uh, oh, uh, he's training he's again, yeah. and he's not far off. So mm. um, he's training on the grass again, and he, uh, he's got some sort of plate in his in his Cheek, in his yeah. cheekbone. Yeah. Um, so he, he's not far away, which is good. It'd be nice to have him back, wouldn't it? Well, yeah. I mean, the only the only player that kind of forgot is is it Josh Bowler? Is there? Mm. Is half decent, which I think yeah. we fancied having mm. here, didn't we? But yeah, he's, he's gone right off the board, hasn't he? Since he went to Forest, yeah, he's yeah, back out again and whatever they're done with him. Um, is he the one that used to be a Blackpool? The one, is yeah, that yeah. Him? yeah, yeah. I, I really yeah. liked him. Really good yeah, player. I did, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Um. Don't forget, get your guesses in, please, for Guess the Gate. 
for Cardiff game on Monday. Um, still got a bit of time to get your guesses in if you can, please. So, Rob um, Nichols, if they go back to us... some of the comments, yeah. Sorry, Rob Nichols, if they pull on a sky blue shirt, I'll support them come what may. Mind you, that did stretch my pace as little with Kevin Kyle <laughs> or Yakubo. That was, I was gonna say Yakubo. <laughs> <laughs> That game where he stood in the halfway line, that was just incredible, oh, yeah. wasn't it? Um, he, got, he, he actually took wages for that. You know, oh. He's getting paid. Oh, poor, isn't yeah, it? Ralph Wiggins, Terry <laughs> Bly and George Hudson, maybe. This is two players with 20 goals. We're going to have to research this. Terry Bly. What, who was it? Terry Bly and who? Um, George Hudson. Hudson. I think you're going to have to go back to the 1930s, I think. Um, I think Jim Brown would know, wouldn't he? Yeah, yeah. I might give him a message in a minute. Uh, Vern Palmer, can Tom Price give full attention to the stream? Seems to be distracted with something on his phone. <laughs> <laughs> In small Got a lot of fans tonight. Michael Doyle, that's right, his working manager. Ah, uh, working manager. I knew he'd gone somewhere, yeah. Well, maybe maybe he won't leave there because he's been a manager, but I don't know. Oh, Wayne Vaughan, Tom, you're English, you're born here. <laughs> that's I, I was saying. I always say when people say that, I say if a puppy's born in a stable, don't make it a horse. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've, got the, I've got the same problem. So, yeah. Both of my parents are Italian. It's just, it was never going to happen, was it? Carvandi, uh, talking of a different type of coach, I hate to see the team on the coach with Birmingham on the front. Bring back Harry Shaw. Now, yeah, let, let me tell you something about that. Because uh, a team coach used to be Harry Shaw for years. Harry Shaw provided the supporters' buses. They supplied a team coach and everything like that. Now, I was speaking to somebody about this. Harry Shaw is still going, but the old the old man, Harry Shaw, he passed away mm. last year. So it's, it's his son that runs it now, and he's scaled it down to only a few coaches. And the club did offer, offer him the contract again, and he refused. He didn't want it because he said he hadn't got enough coaches to you know, to cover for it. So obviously it went, went out to tender, and Birmingham International were Birmingham-based. They also do West Brom, Birmingham City, and I think Aston Villa as well. They same coach supplier. It's, it's got Birmingham International on the side, which is a bit annoying, I know. But um, they now supply the coaches, and that's what it's got to. But because it isn't another Coventry firm, if you like, who can supply the VIP coaches up to the standard they want. Um, right. We have got a few coach companies in Coventry, but don't supply obviously the VIP ones, which. Um, Obviously, the, the ones with a table and everything like that, the, the, the club wants. Yeah. And that's what somebody from who who works at the club told me. And they, they did want Harry Shaw back, but Harry Shaw didn't want the contract. They, they wanted to, they didn't feel they could um, fulfill it or whatever for time wise and coach wise. So after years and years and years of having Harry Shaw, we, we've all sudden got um, this other company. Birmingham International. So. I, um, uh, I I may, I maintain the gates at uh, Harry Shaw's uh, uh, depot, which is Mill Lane. Yeah, Binley, yeah. yeah. They used to park all the coaches down there, didn't they? Yeah, well, if you go on Google Earth <laughs> <laughs> and, look at, and look at Mill Lane and follow the lane down, you'll see some idiot lean on a sledgehammer. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> and when was that? How, what year was that? Sir, yeah? Oh, about that. Ten years, eight years ago, smart. Like ten oh, years. Okay. Yeah, we we. Oh, oh yeah, and uh, <laughs> I saw this car come towards us, and I said to the lad I was working with, "What's that thing on top of the roof?" Because what's oh, the Google car? So it says, "Right, I'm going to pose," and, <laughs> uh, and I'm on. I'm, they've got me. It's so funny. And my face is blurred out. You can tell it's me. It's the size of me. <laughs> but yes, it's uh, yeah. <laughs> But no, it's just, yeah, because yeah. they dealt with the Harry Shaw for years, didn't they? Yeah, and Harry Shaw, Mister Mister Shaw, he's the old man, he died last year, I think it was, um, and then his son runs it now, and he scaled the business down now. I mean, you don't see hardly any Harry Shaw coaches about now, no. whereas before in Coventry, nearly every other coach was Harry Shaw. Yeah, this is a uh, from Will sold... King. Ah, oh, good evening, Will. King of Shades, cough, cough, cough. Look, Will, come on. <laughs> yeah, we I need, do some, with some, I need um, some stuff we need some gear yeah we're getting a bit <laughs> um, Ian Small talk for Eccles yeah that's a good call yeah it wouldn't hurt would it uh, Liam was are we really talking about selling the family silver again no if we want to go up we can't be selling all the time at some point you have to think about the team and less about the bank balance it's true we're just surmising, aren't we, what could happen? 
Um, yeah. we, none of us want any of the players to go, but the problem is, if they dangle a carrot, sometimes the club has to take it. Yeah, and I think that every uh, team in English football outside the top six is a selling club. Yeah, and you even know, they are selling. I mean, you go bust. Yeah, without doubt. If you look at the situation Newcastle are in now, where they basically can't sign anybody, can they? Yeah. Because they've spent too much money now. Yeah. And they've, they've got the richest owners in the world, apparently. So, yeah. It, yeah, it's mad, isn't things. it? They've got that, all they've got all that money and they can't, you can't spend it. I think we have to manage what we've got while we've got them and get the best out of them. And and if some, I mean, they're all, eventually they'll all move. The only people who aren't going is going to be us. Yeah, they yeah. all say, don't they? Fan you know, managers will come and go. The supporters are always there to the end. The the worst departure for me will be Mark Robbins. Yeah, that will be the worst departure because what he's done now, how he's set the club up. It's got the way he wants it. It's almost like a Ferguson Brian Clough scenario. This is, I think. Oh yeah. Um, in terms of how he's got everything going the way he wants it, if mm. he was to walk away, we have a major problem then because yeah. we don't yeah. know what we're going to get. And we've seen other clubs do it, where they've had somebody there for a while or someone's been fairly successful. Somebody steps in and it just completely goes pear shaped. Well, look, look at Birmingham, didn't they? They had yeah, you know, it was a nightmare for them, wasn't it? Oh, well, they could get relegated. The yeah. plane's terrible. I can't believe that people were calling for Robbins' head before Christmas. I mean, it's just crazy. Oh. Well, I don't know what's going yeah, on. Are, are, these, are, these, are these just people looking for a reaction, do you think? I think so. I, I, think think honestly, famous, I, can't, yeah. I can't believe they mean it, surely. They cannot be serious, you know, with yeah. comments like that. Uh, Gary 87 Palmer was taking some brilliant corners against Borough after Gus left. I wonder why he wasn't left as the corner taker over Eccles. Um, now this is an interesting one uh, would you have McNally back as his season long loan with uh, McNally sorry <laughs> can't think of that. Uh, a bit of a moment, it? yeah uh, <laughs> season long loan with Stoke is over at the end of the season I can't see Burnley wanting him back he uh, made the team of the week didn't he this week uh, along with Sims he made the team of the week oh did he okay yeah. I know it's cool well, what I've seen one. of the highlights, he's been having a really poor season. But yeah. uh, I think it's just he's, he's in a not great team. Uh, no, he did he did okay for us. I thought uh, Claudio oh, used was excellent. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Did you um, rate McNally, Claudio? Did you like McNally? It was fine. I was, yeah, well, we said the three at the back with him, Doyle, and Fads. They were great, weren't they? The three at the back. Yeah. yeah. Which is why we Vic couldn't do it this season because we haven't got them. No. <laughs> and Vicky, uh, you liked McNally, didn't you? Yeah, I really liked him. I was disappointed when we couldn't get him back. I suppose the trouble now is you've got Thomas in kitchen. Um, how, how would we play him in? Like, if we got him, how, how would we set up? And uh, yeah. we've almost we've almost moved on, haven't we? Um, yeah. So that's yeah. a, a difficult one. But yeah, yeah, no, I really rated him. I've, I've just got my signed shirt from the tavern. I was about to say you had you had his shirt. Yeah, so I did. Yeah. <laughs> It's uh, Glenn Watkins. I think it's his player of the season, Glenn saying Jake Bidwell. Yes, um, good shout. Good shout, Jake Bidwell. His corners on Friday were good as well. <coughs> yeah. Kind of corners. Ralph Wiggins, keep the same team if possible. It's got a great balance. Um, what's, ooh. Graham Cockrell, what about McAllister for coach? Not, not team coach. You're on about McAllister. Uh, Gary McAllister. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Where's he at the minute? Is it? Is it? Where he, is he? I don't think he's anywhere at the moment. He was. He was at Villa last time with, with Gerard, weren't he? I don't know where he went after that. Hmm. I, don't um, I don't think he's in work at the moment. Graham Cockrell thinks three nil tomorrow, and Wayne's put with those shorts and slippers, Claudio. Oh, what's up then? Is it, what's he looking at? Is he looked at the photo? <laughs> well, I mean, he's been on Google. <laughs> oh, are you talking about the one where you look like Joe Pasquale <laughs> in your oh. really short shorts? <laughs> oh, yes. We might, yeah, yeah. I know what he means now. <laughs> Joe, hold on a minute. Joe Pasquale. Matt <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nally is no Bobby Thomas. I do like that. I do like our two centre halves. I, I do like I do. I, yeah. yeah. Uh, Dave Granigan, I agree if Robbins leaves, we have massive problems, but unfortunately it will happen one day. We've just got to hope that the day isn't going to come anytime soon. Now, I wonder, 
I mean, it would be irony that he does a we get promoted and he does a Jimmy Hill. <laughs> <laughs> And then I'd, I'd like to think he'll get us up there and just stay with us. So I can't, I just cannot imagine anybody else taking charge at the minute. No, definitely, 100%. He is Mr. Cobb, as you said, at the moment, isn't he? He knows everything about the club. Um, you know, he, he's been the ups and the downs, if you like, and he's and he's coming and he's um, he built, you know, different squads every year, every season. He's had to build a different squad, hasn't he? So... Um, that's up to date with all the comments then, Claudio. We are, yeah. Okay, let's have some score predictions then, shall we, for uh, Monday's game. We're starting Wales, um, <laughs> since we're playing a Welsh team. Let, let, let's see, uh, Tom and Steve, what, what do you think? Just thinking about, I can't see anything but a 2 0 win for Cov, but I'm worried I'm going to have one of these Preston moments where you go in all confident <laughs> and we just play awful. But. Cardiff are struggling to score. They've only scored four in the last five games. And I think the Swansea defeat hit them bad. Yes. I, I think they expected to do the double over Swansea and it didn't happen. And they they were poor. It was as bad as they've been against Sunderland at home, according to uh, to Bullet, the manager. So I think 2-0, but I'm just worried about being confident. It just doesn't work. <laughs> I think okay. We're in that weird end of the season, aren't we? Where when you play teams with nothing to play for, you get strange results sometimes. But I, I'm fairly confident. I think you know it's, it's a game that means a lot more to us. We've got something to play for. There's something on it for us. There's nothing on it for them. So I, I think three one cough. Three one cough. That's good. Uh, Vicky, uh, I'm going to go three nil. Three nil clean sheet. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, <laughs> and Sims hat trick. Yeah, I'll just say yeah. <laughs> Someone won a lot of money on that the other week, and I thought that's typical because I, I never bet on Coventry. I'm always worried that I'm going to curse yeah. uh, the team and the players, so I never bet on anything <laughs> to do with Coventry. And um, but I did see the other week that someone won a lot of money on betting on Sims. I thought, like, oh, that's typical. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I've seen it uh, as well. Uh, <laughs> um, Claudio, you're going for a big win, are we? I think I am. I mean, we're. Um... The th interesting thing is, Cardiff either win or lose. They've only drawn five matches mm -hmm. and they've lost 18 games. That's pretty much half the matches they've played they've lost. We're 28 yeah. goals better off than they are. I, I tell you what, I'm going big. I'm, yeah, I'm big. Gonna, yeah, my Cardiff City fans, my friends, who are, are going to be with me in my car, uh, are going to be suffering a 4-0 defeat tomorrow. Yeah, I'm just... I'm fed up of sitting on the fence. There's only so many sprinters you can <laughs> see. <laughs> but I think we're going to get a big win. I've got a feeling. I, th I think we're going to have a big win, a big 4 0. A big 4 0. A big 4 0. We're going to be three up by half time, and then we're going to be bored in the second half because <laughs> <laughs> nothing's going to happen. <laughs> well, let's hope, let's hope so. Um, I'm going to go 3 0. 3 0, I'm going to go 4. I think we could clean sheet. And I think we'll get an early goal, settle down, and then we'll uh, go on to win three and I think quite confident we'll get. Well, I hope it's more than three, but I think we'll get at least three tomorrow. I've uh, got some uh, predictions before we go. Should we put them on? Yeah, go on. Let's catch so, up with the comments. Alison Berry, 2 0 cough. Dave Sauna's going for a 3 1. You can tell we won again, can't you? I love it when it is. Yeah. <laughs> I say this every time. Yeah. I mean, you can always tell we've done well the results. We've had four, is that four away wins in a row or something? Or four wins in a row we've had. Definitely four wins in a row, isn't it? Yeah. Lost yeah. going to the international yeah. break, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Ian Small, 2 0 tomorrow. Dave Granigan, 2 0. Uh, CCFC three, CCC, CCFC one. I'm <laughs> the Battle of the CCFC, yeah. Paul Hughes three nil. Is Paul at home? Or is he in a travel lodge? What's he doing? Is he sure he's home for Easter? Yeah, I think he's at home. Come <laughs> on, um, Claudio's off the fence. I thought it was a new <laughs> mark. <laughs> 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 uh, James Hollyoke 3 0. Oh, Rob Nichols, the old five, 5 0. 
They'll find yeah, it. They've got a good look for confidence, guys. Let's hope we do it and kick on for the rest of the season. Get playoffs. Ralph Wiggins, 3-1. Dave Granigan, yeah, that's four wins on the bounce we've had. Go on. We're really good, aren't we? Mm. We don't. I think we need to big up ourselves more often than we do. It doesn't, you know, these times don't happen that often in football. So you might as well oh. yeah. enjoy it while you can and tell mm. the world, basically. Yeah. So I'm fed up of listening about other teams and how great they are. Uh, uh, Craig Robinson, MR won't go anywhere. He's a man on a mission and a plan. It's his club now as much as ours. That's why he signed a new contract. I, I think you're right. I do, Craig. I think there's something. I don't know what it is. And it's a shame we went to Huddersfield the first time around because it felt like it was clicking back then, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. You know, because we're doing well under him. And then he, yeah. Blame CC. Well, do you think? Do you think that actually helps in some ways? Like sometimes these things have to happen because he's less likely to be tempted. Like he yeah. came back. Like if. Yeah. The clubs have looked at him because he's doing such a good job and he's just been like, no, I'm staying. If he hadn't gone the first time, might he have been tempted by one of those? And so, has it done us a favour? I don't know. Mm. Possibly. Possibly. Uh, is that all the comments? Is that about it? <laughs> no, look, um, Craig's, very, Craig's very confident, look. Well, it, yeah, we'll, we'll look <laughs> 18 0. Oh, that's it. Too many Easter eggs today, sugar rush. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, don't forget you can just don't forget you can get your guest guesses for get uh, guest gate in if you haven't done it on screen here, where I think uh, Vic Vicky's marking them all down. Uh, you, can, you can email us in um, once we go off the air. You can email your predictions in to skybluefanstv at gmail .com with the guest gate prediction, and we'll add them to the draw as well. Um, just before we go, just to remind you a couple of things. No, will and not again. Friday, the fifth of April. Uh, Lee from the Northern Sports Club uh, is running that event. Also, a comedian on that night, ten pound a ticket. It's going to be a good night. And um, statue appeal, of course. All money uh, gratefully received. Get that statue up and running. And just to remind you, Claudio, you've got to tell me about swapping a ticket for somebody as well in a minute. Um, swapping a FA Cup ticket. Was it from Miles? He just sent me a message. Um, oh. FA, Cup, FA Cup semi-final. Uh, the second batch of tickets go on sale on Thursday for the people with 50 points or more. Yes, Paul um, is Paul Cutterford, is it? Yeah. He's got a safe standing ticket. This is genuine. Safe standing ticket and he can't stand for that long basically and he's he wants to swap it for a seated a ticket a seated ticket where you're more likely to be sat down right uh, okay. if there's anybody out there who wants to safe standing i think i must be beyond the goal to safe standing it's a, yeah. 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 Right behind, yeah. if you want a safe standing ticket beyond the goal and you've got one seated at the side somewhere and you want to swap it please contact us and we'll see if yeah contact us tv gmail.com send us an email or send us a message if you've got our personal numbers and then uh We'll sort that out for you, no problem. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, Birmingham City tickets go on sale, by the way, on Tuesday, Vicky, aren't they? Yeah, Birmingham. Tuesday, yeah. Yeah, Tuesday. So um, there's only 2,000 tickets, so you've got to get in there early. I think the, I think the points has been risen now. I think it's 1,400 points, isn't it, the first batch? Uh, those yeah. are 1,400 points or more. And then it goes down to... Um, 1200 12 and then a thousand, I think, then 800, isn't it? Like yeah, I, I think they'll just move it accordingly to how many we get. Mm. So if you get 2000, that's what if you get 3000, then they'll, they'll bring it down, won't they? Yes, can, can I ask, do you know why they put it as low as 50 points for the tickets going on sale on Thursday? Is it because we've obviously got 20,000 season tickets ish? So this is there about 14,000 people roughly that got 50 points or more? Because if so, then we've got a great chance of getting in, but it just seemed odd that it was 15. Why not 100 or 200 points? It seemed a bit club, I don't. Yeah, I don't know the answer to that, to be honest. I mean, I'm not the, sure. club, the club have apparently said, because I was talking to someone about this on Facebook, and the club have apparently said that anybody with 50 plus tickets who is interested will have a chance of getting a ticket. So presumably they know how many people and they think that's yeah. enough to give everyone a chance. Um, and that's why they've pitched it there. Um, I mean, they... 
Yeah, there's, there's going to be probably 5,000 fans with 230 points anyway because they're the new season ticket holders from last year. Yeah. Mm. So there's... So there will be. Uh, I think you'll get a ticket. Yeah, I kind of. So I was thinking about this. A lot of people that have been to a few games in recent <laughs> years have probably then bought a season ticket like yeah. this year because there's so many season ticket holders. There's probably not that many people who have got fifty points because you might have been like the games over the years, but you have to have been in the last few years to get fifty points, don't you? And I can't imagine there's that many people, um, like thousands and thousands, who've got fifty points who haven't then got a season ticket this year. So I, I think that I, I think this club will probably pitch that so that they know that everyone's got a chance. Yeah. I, I think you're right. It just seems really low. And when yeah. you think last year that there was twenty points from the away game, so we did three away games, sixty points. Yeah. yeah, you're in. Yeah. It's, it's just just don't, don't do it on your phone if you've got fat fingers, yeah. Claudia. Um, do it on the laptop. <laughs> well, I've got to say, I'm, I'm glad to know. I should probably say I'm glad to know, but there was a lot of people struggling. Yeah, and people, there was, yeah, with the same sort of problem where it just wouldn't register. Um, yeah, so, and the phone is very difficult. The the the, the graphics yeah. to set out the setup. Yeah. So you know, if you, you put you pressing the button, it doesn't it doesn't uh, register. Yeah, and so it doesn't help. To... But, but I've got two protective screens on my phone as well that doesn't help either does it yeah. so yeah if you've got if you've got fat fingers stick to your laptop or your computer so uh so there you go that's about it i think uh, everybody i think we've uh, covered everything on uh on this easter weekend where um we've already got three points in the bag we're looking to get another three points hopefully we will um thank you very much steve and tom for coming on as normal we didn't have a cardiff fan but you were the best thing Alternative. To come out of yeah. Wales. I'll, I'll, have, I'll have a word with him tomorrow when I take him to the game. How did your game yeah. in night go? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks very much for coming on as, as, as always. Um, Vicky, thank you very much for coming on again. Cool. Thanks. And no problem. And Claudia, thank us as always. Yeah. And uh, we all look forward to uh, Monday at the CBS. Can't wait, uh, can't wait. And. Um, I'll let you all go. And thanks for the comments, by the way, everybody. There's loads of comments tonight. Uh, keep keep them coming in. Every shows we're getting busier and busier with comments. And we can see them all coming in and we're getting more and more and more all the time and more views. So, uh, you know, with that, also, also yes. Ken, also, if you've not been on before and you want to come on, just contact any of us. Yeah. And come on. We, we yeah, definitely. Just, it's, it's just nice send us an email. Send us an email, say you want to come on. It'd be interesting to put a, a face to the comments if you normally message in and you felt, oh, okay, I'll come on, I can do that. Nice and easy. So come on, show your face, put a face to uh, come on the panel for one of the shows. Just email us at scarboroughfanstv at gmail.com with your details and we'll uh, and we'll get back in touch with you and we'll send you the link and you can come on on one of the shows, no problem. We're so, all on Facebook, aren't we? They can, any of them can they can contact us on yeah, Facebook or anything. Yeah, like all Facebook, any 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 of the uh, social media uh, outlets. So uh, you can come up. <laughs> we got the extra. Um, I was just waiting to see when the cat would appear. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're going to win four 0 now. He's turned up. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's it then. Um, we're about finished. We're about wrapped up here. Thanks very much, everybody, for listening. Thanks for all the guests. Thanks for all the comments. And get back to eating your Easter eggs now. <laughs> and uh, I'm sure you enjoyed. I've still got two to eat, so I'm all right. Uh, so big play up Sky Blues, play up Sky, yeah, Blues. Sky Blues, and I believe uh, Miles will be back on Thursday, um, where we're previewing the the Leeds game. So that'd be interesting. We should have a Leeds fan on as well. So play up Sky Blues, and a very good night to you all. Good night. Good night. <laughs>